What's Drew's secret to always getting the perfect teardrop in the tie? Hashtag tie99. So give us your tip here. What, what do you do there? Tie it tight. Okay. You, when, you, when, you, when you bring it over and under, make sure it's snug and tight. And then when you bring it through, pinch, squeeze, and pull it through. And if it didn't go out the first time where it's not perfect Keep working in on the it. middle, take it off and do it again. That's it. How many times might it take you? Like, do you ever have a two or three try tie and you just, or There's, are you, are you one take Jake? I'm, I'm now usually it's two. I'm usually, I'm, it usually takes me two because I'll get it. I won't get it the right, the right uh, length. Like so I don't ever get it Donald Trump length. Like I get it too short. <laughs> so you mean it's yeah. like touching your knee? Touching, yeah. Or something else. Um, <laughs> I get, it, I get it too short sometimes and that's why I got to redo it. But there's a few things that go into it. The number one thing is though, it's, it's keep working at it, keep working at it, keep working at it. There's, a, there's an old saying, never trust a man in a full Windsor. Always a full Windsor. I'm a full Windsor too, actually. Yeah, I called it a double Windsor. Somebody yeah, corrected so, yeah, me. Yeah, full Windsor, like, no, double no. Windsor, half Windsor. Yeah. So when you see somebody with a tie that's uh, touching, yeah, below the, the, like the belt buckle, right? Yeah. Is where you're supposed to hit. If you do have somebody whose tie is touching their thigh, like yeah. what, what, what's your, what's your initial, you write the person off. You're like, nope, I can't even talk to that person. Yeah. 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 I, the old Drew, the old Drew, um, like five, six years ago would have said something. The old Drew definitely would have said something. The new Drew, I'm trying to be softer. I'm trying to be nicer. I'm a grandfather now. Um, I'm trying to set a better example for my granddaughter. So I'm trying to be the new Drew. Uh, Ray Tufts, trainer for the Sharks, the athletic therapist, said to me the other this year, man, you've gone soft. <laughs> it's because your grandpa Drew Remenda now. I'm papa. Yeah, I'm Papa. Uh, I was going to go, go, go ahead. No, no, no. no, no tell no. stories about my, about my granddaughter. I, but she is incredibly gorgeous and cute and funny and smart. And she's going to be obviously brilliant throughout her whole life. But I'll, I'll go back to what my dad used to say when, when my kids were born. If I would have known grandkids were so much fun, I would have had them first. <laughs> good, good chirp there too. Like that's, that's, yeah, thanks, it's a funny thing to say and it's a chirp too. 